Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, and today I'm at the Pinnacle One Acre Community north in North New Braunfels, and I've got a beautiful pre-existing home that was built in 2007. Make sure I get that right. Yep, I'm right. 2007, and it's gorgeous on the inside. Let's go check it out. All right, this house is beautifully landscaped, and wait till you see the backyard. Um, it is on a cul-de-sac, and... Uh, not a huge fan of these high wires going over it, but you do have a quiet, peaceful neighborhood, despite that you hear someone doing lawn work back there, if you can hear it. But uh, this house is beautiful on the inside. It is 3,300 square foot. It's listed as a three bedroom, two bath. However, there is a, a loft area that if you had one of those like closet hutches put in, it can count as a four bedroom. But just look at the quality of landscaping that these guys did. This is really nice grass. I believe that's Soisha. But they've done a great job. And that Spanish tile roof is a huge upgrade. And once you get inside, you can see they really want the European theme and three car garage. Now let's go and walk on over and kind of show you the walk up. Digging the shutters. Yeah, it can use a little paint touch up there, but that's easy peasy. But loving this. Lots and lots of oak and shade. Perfect for kind of a, uh, if you want to just sit out here under these trees and have a cup of coffee in the morning, that's fine. The sun sets on the side of the house. I believe it's going to be on that side, so you will not have sunlight directly on your back porch. It's a good thing. All right talking about the front porches check out this beautiful door they've got some nice uh, stained concrete and a perfect little place to be able to sit outside in some chairs and enjoy the day all right let's go ahead and head on inside right when you come in you can see you can see right into the backyard I absolutely love that and talk about the European theme, I was talking about very Venetian with these pillars and the rocks everywhere. Not a huge fan of carpet in the dining room, but once again, a very easy fix. But you do have the tray ceilings in the formal dining and check out that ceiling up there, that's really cool. You do have an office right up front not the biggest office, but how big of an office do you really need? But once again, still the tall ceilings. And the French doors. All right, looking at the floor, they have some intricate tile work done. I just really like the rock on this. I have to make sure the door gets fully shut. Don't want to waste people's air conditioning. All right, like I said, the outdoor entertainment area is really a key to this house. But we're gonna get out there in a little bit. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the inside first. Oops, I thought I hit these kitchen lights. There we go, that's better. All right, check out this living space. Not the tallest of ceilings, but you definitely have some beautiful beams and like I said, this house was built in 2007. So they weren't doing these super, super duper tall ceilings at the time, but it's still a beautifully done house. Love in the island in the middle. I definitely like how they staged it with a little wine. But let's start with the cooktop. It is a Frigidaire cooktop. A gas community does have the range master range up top and it carries it all the way up there. Very nice. Nice little built-in for the refrigerator. Dual ovens. Or maybe that is a microwave up top. Yeah, that's going to be a microwave right up top here. Gen Air. It's a nice brand. Pantry. Goes back quite a ways. Very well organized. Like, man, these people did it up nicely. But looking at the rest of the kitchen, 
you do have I love this granite this is not your entry-level granite a lot of movement in it does have the two different size stainless steel sink so plenty of room to clean a skillet but from the kitchen area you got good views of the entire house really neat it does have a corner fireplace so I always like corner fireplaces because they don't dominate the room, but they're there if you need to. And uh, the built-ins, well, you can tell it's a little bit older because the built-ins are designed to only hold like a, uh, maybe a 32 inch TV. I'm guessing at that. Don't quote me if you're gonna be buying this house based on how big a TV is, I can come out and do very measurements for you. But they do have built-in speakers into the ceiling already but it's a really cool house. Since we're here, let's go and check out the outside. Oh, just showing the rock goes all the way around the front of the island space or countertop. But these people selling this house put a lot of care in the outdoor living. So you have speakers up here already, it's kind of cool. And just look at what they have done out here. So you've got your place in the shade, got your water feature, perfect. I don't see any koi fish in there, but if you wanted to have some koi fish, it's already done. But definitely this place is built for outdoor entertaining. And right now we're be almost July 2021, so eh, not much outdoor entertaining going on right now, at least unless the sun goes down. But you do have an outdoor fire pit, another nice sitting area. <clears throat> now this is on just over an acre as well. Kind of show you the back. Definitely digging the design of this house. They get a little sidewalk going around there to get to the three-car garage entry. Like I said, they built little walkways to what looks like a little green room slash shed area. Sounds like they got a little air conditioning going on. So, you do have a full green room inside here. Very cool. I'm going to go ahead and just walk back here. <clears throat> and then you've got the property that's been left natural. Looks like you got a little uh, game trail going back that way. But this space is open to do what you want to. Ooh, you know what? I haven't even seen this up here. Let's kind of follow this trail because uh, I've been exploring this house, but I didn't come out here yet. So I'm learning with you guys right now. Air conditioning units on that side. Oh, another little koi pond and sitting area. And this one actually has some fish in it. Hi, fishy fishies. Oh, they're excited to see me. So these people, the sellers are definitely into the outdoor sitting area. I'm going to sit down and show you what your view could be if you had this. Sitting down, shaded area, we got some cedar trees around us, and some goldfish that look kind of hungry. Get these lights going, It'd be kind of cool. They got some tunes going too. And I see the anti-mosquito things set up as well. Because yes, we do get mosquitoes here. It's not like we're, the mosquitoes are so bad like we're on the Gulf Coast. But if we're trying to do some outdoor entertaining, they do get annoying. But a really nicely done fence on the front side. That side could use a little more work. But just the level of detail they've put in their outdoor area back there I can kind of see the edge of the property line and it probably goes back there quite a ways 
So if you did want to eventually put a pool in, you could have this space right in front of us be perfect for putting a pool. It'd be really super cool entertainment space. All right, let's head back on inside because I've got a lot more to show you. And I don't want this video going on too, too long. I'm definitely going to do a little more on the outside than I normally do because they really put a lot of detail on the outside part of this house. All right, I do have a door going into the main living area, but I know this one's open, so let's go this way. You get a little touch-up paint needed there. All right, let's check out the laundry room. And the mud room, got the mud room, place for hanging your stuff. Decent sized laundry room with cabinets, little hang up bar, and oh, don't forget the step down. Got a little wash place. These step downs are perfect in case you're, you got a leak somewhere, you really don't want it flooding your entire house. Your big three car garage place. Lots and lots of storage. So yes, very good size garage. I'm trying to see if there, okay, there is a pocket door there so you can close it so the sound doesn't come through. All right, let's go ahead and head upstairs. Oh. Because there's two bedrooms, designated bedrooms, and one space that can be a bedroom. This is the common loft area. But like I said, if you put a wardrobe up here, you could call this a bed. You can use it as a bedroom. You can't technically call it a bedroom because it doesn't have its own closet. Just kind of one of our rules. But they have it set up as a alternate living space. Kind of a view from the top up here. Pretty nice. All right, once again, they've got the arch windows going through the hallway. But this is one of the two official bedrooms upstairs. Good size bedroom. With a regular size closet. And this is going to be kind of a Jack and Jill hybrid because you will share the sink. Nice lighting. And then you have to open the door and then you have the shared toilet and bath shower combo, which once again, nice lighting, nice tile work. And then the other bedroom that has its own sink vanity area it's a bit on the low side for an adult with uh, back problems but uh, it's not really geared for that but this is the other bedroom upstairs that they are using it as an office and it does have well they're using their office as and a nice computer room So good sized bedrooms. If you've got two kids, this is really nice. All right, let's head on downstairs. All right, we just time warped downstairs. There's the formal dining room again. All the pillars, now we're crossing over into the owner suite living area. This is your um, powder room that the general public can use, kind of set off the side. And then we come into the owner suite. Very nice done uh, tray ceilings. Got the extra can lighting back in there and still the giant windows that really highlight to where you can see what's going on in the bed backyard.
So plenty, they got a king size bed in here, you can tell it fits just fine. With plenty of space on either side. So this is a really good sized room. Elegant baseboards, but then coming into the ensuite. Giant soaking tub, dual vanity, once again with that upgraded granite, full mirror, eight foot doors, big soaking tub, and a little, nice little lip there where you can put your glass of scotch or glass of wine while you're taking your bubble bath. I ain't ashamed to say I've done that before. Obviously not in this tub, but I'll sip on a little something something while I'll take a bubble bath. But check out this shower. Kind of a little walk around, step down and walk around. Shower with two shower heads. Very nice. No cleaning of uh, the curtains required or that glass. Well, that's what I meant, the big glass thing that kind of fogs up sometime. All right, let's see how the size of this closet. Very organized folks that live here. Not the biggest closet, but very, very functional. Like I said, this house built in 20, I mean 2007, I guess people just didn't have as much clothes as they do now. That's a little, I don't know. Silliness. All right, that's going to wrap a tour of this beautiful home built in the Pinnacle subdivision on the north part of New Braunfels. They are asking 720k for this gorgeous home. And it's fresh on the market as of, I believe today is 26 June, 2021. I think it came on the market yesterday. If you got any questions, feel free to shoot me a text or schedule a phone call with me and I'll be happy to answer them. I'm gonna keep this video private because I'm doing it actually for a client who might be interested in this house. But if she passes on it, I'm gonna make it public. And if you're looking for a real estate agent and or real estate company, I've got my own group going now. Uh, feel free to send me a text or I'll add a link to where you can schedule time with me. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Take care now. Bye.